congratulations. Thank you, Trevor. Miss Thank you. Universe. Has it sunk in yet? I don't think so. I think this is like my almost a week now. Of and being... Yeah, and I'm, I think I'm getting used to it because at first people would be like, Miss Universe, and I'll just continue going. <laughs> that's not me. Miss Universe, you dropped something. <laughs> is that me? Jupiter, please, Miss Universe. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it is it is a surreal experience. I mean, like, because you won Miss South Africa and then you go on this journey to, you know, to compete for Miss Universe. And I mean, you, you know, it's amazing women from all around the world. Mm -hmm. The competition has evolved over the years to become more about, like, what the women are thinking yeah. as well as how you look and what you want to do in the world. So it is a challenging experience to be on. Like, what was this journey? What has it been like for you? Oof, it's been interesting since I won Miss South Africa and finding out that I would be doing Miss Universe as well. Um, it was incredible, the support that I got from back home, but it was challenging as well because I had a new look um, that people were not used to. And so um, I got crowned and I got a lot of different responses, but I was, I was quite excited about it regardless of what was happening. In, in, in what way? Tell me, tell me about the responses. Because that's uh, interesting, because a lot of people might think that would be something that happens like in a Western country uh -huh. or in another, but this was in South Africa. In South Africa. Yeah, you had won a predominantly black country, mm -hmm. and yet there were people who said to you, hey, we love you, but... But, yeah, so I first won, and I got a lot of comments where, you know, a lot of people said, oh, is this the one this year? She's so underwhelming. Um, I got comments like, um, she's a downgrade from the others that we've had. And this was only from people in, in, in my country as right. well. Um, and then it got more international as people find, found out that I was going to do Miss Universe. And then international people as well started, you know, commenting in. And I think my most interesting was, one was when I came to New York for the first time, I think about four months ago. Um, I came back to South Africa. It was quite, it was late in the evening and I took a photo from my apartment. And I was like, oh, such a beautiful night. And a comment came in and I chuckle now, but at first I was like, what? And this guy says, oh, this photo is so black. It's as black as you are, Miss Black Ugly South Africa. And I think, yeah, it's quite, and I think it was in that moment where I was like, I'm not even mad. I'm not mad because I think it's just how society has labeled beauty to be. It's just how we've been programmed to look right. at, at beauty that way. You know, the furthest you are from being fair um, is the uglier you are. And I just saw it as an education moment because I remember putting out a post, you know, just speaking about it, speaking about colorism, speaking about racism, uh, speaking about how people need to see things in order to start believing in them. Right. Um, and that, I, that was that was a big thing, yeah. especially for you, and I think so many people who saw you being crowned Miss yeah. Universe was it was a moment where many people, and this is what really interested me. I was proud as a South African. Yeah. Um, I was proud as somebody who's grown up on the continent. But what really got me is how universally, I mean, for our for our planet, mm -hmm. many people said to see a dark skinned woman mm -hmm. win an accolade like this, but then to see a woman with natural hair yeah. win this with her natural hair. <laughs> and, that's, and that's what a lot of people... That's what a lot of people initially wanted you to change. People were like, why don't you get a weave? Why don't you straighten... You're yeah. beautiful, but why don't you just straighten your uh -huh. hair? That must have been a challenge. Why didn't you straighten your hair? Why didn't you wear a weave? Yeah. Uh, because this is my hair. This was the first question I gave people. They're like... <laughs> you know? Because I don't think anyone tells other people to put on a weave, so why, why right. should I, you know? For, at first, people were like, was this a strategy? I'm like, to what? To wake up and be myself? <laughs> <laughs> you know? And I was like, no, it's not a strategy. I've had, you know, short hair for three years, and I wasn't going to change because I was now stepping into a beauty platform. Right. Because then that means I don't think my hair is beautiful if I'm gonna change it. And so I decided to keep it. You kept it, and yeah. everyone is happy that you kept it. <laughs> You've also, you've also kept many of the causes that you've been passionate about, yeah. you know? Um, a lot of the time, beauty pageants are associated with a superfluous world, but, but as I've said, over the years, mm -hmm. things are changing. The, the focus is changing. What people are trying to do mm -hmm. is changing. And, and you've taken on a really powerful issue, and that's been gender-based violence, mm -hmm. which, is, which is far from, like, a flowery issue mm -hmm. that many people would want to tackle. Why gender-based violence, and, and what would you hope people would understand in and around this conversation? Yeah. It, you know, for me, I think my, my, my thing began when I won Miss South Africa. And femicide and gender-based violence is, is very big, 
back home uh -huh. and I realized that it's not only a South African thing it's a global issue because we have things like the Me Too movement uh -huh. we have things like the Time's Up movement you know women are fighting all over the world to be safe again in, in, in this world which is you know it's quite crazy to me to have to have movements where we're fighting just to be alive just to keep our lives and I like to say you know women are an endangered species these days I feel like one day we're just gonna wake up and you know there's no women anymore that would be horrible. So, I know, right? <laughs> that's, that's why I'm an ally. That would be horrible. <laughs> that would be horrible. <laughs> yeah, and so my thing is about gender-based violence is to bring in the men. That's always been my main message because people will ask women, what do you think we should do to fight this? And I'm like, why are you asking me? You know, I'm not the perpetrator in most of the instances. Right. So why don't we call out on the people that are? So. That, and that, that has been really beautiful because you have sparked a conversation, not just in South Africa, but on all the platforms you've, you've taken around the world and saying, hey, we need men to be a part of this yeah. conversation. We need to be engaging men and saying, hey, here's how you can do better. Right. Here's what you can do to be better. Here's how men can call other men yeah. out in making women safe because exactly. it's, it's the men who are the perpetrators in, in this case. Mm -hmm. um, you are a week in to being Miss Universe. Yes. But it is now a journey that is going to take you over the course of a year. It'll feel like a lifetime. It'll be over in a moment. What are you most looking forward to? What are you excited to achieve? What do you, what do you, what do you just want to do in this period of your reign? I'm so excited to travel the world. I must say, though, New York is so cold. Oh, my God. <laughs> I cannot. Oh, when I got here, I was like, I'd really love to feel my toes one more time. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm so excited to travel the world. I haven't really had the opportunity to travel before, and I think this is um, going to be quite an interesting one for me. I'm excited to have my messages and everything that I'm passionate about to just go across the globe. Mm -hmm. And one thing I always say is I don't want to feel like when I step out of um, this crown that it was wasted. I want to be responsible with it. And now I have a platform of, you know, I have 2.5 million people, thank you, following me. <laughs> Yeah, so I want to use that platform and whatever I do, it must just be purposeful work, you know. Um, but also to b build my brand as well, because when people ask me, what is this for you personally? Right. For me, I say it's the beginning of building generational wealth for my family, because it's not, it's not something that we've had in the past. That is, that is one thing... That is one part of your story that I think a lot of people will be surprised by because, you know, it can often happen with the first time people see you, you're wearing a crown, you're yeah. wearing a beautiful gown or a dress, and, and people go like, wow, this has always been you. But part of the reason many South Africans were proud is because of the story that came before your victories. Yeah. And that was, you came from humble beginnings. Yes, I do. I grew up, I come from a village, Kutsolo, in the Eastern Cape. Uh, yeah, <laughs> someone say yes, like the village. <laughs> Yeah, I, I come from a village, and um, you would know, but, you know, they wouldn't know how, how it is. The Eastern Cape, I think, is one right. of the most <sighs> impoverished places of, of the country. While I was fortunate enough to have a mother who's a school principal and my dad who worked, um, at least I was able to go to school, but things are quite different for other people who, who grew up there. Right. And it's quite difficult to make it out of there. And so I think because I grew up there and people saw me growing up there now, you know, I'm Miss Universe, it's... It's, it adds like an element of hope to people who feel like they couldn't have been able wow. to do it before. It's hope for not just those people, but people who look like you, people who people... don't look like you, people with hair, natural hair, natural everything, people Everyone. who just want to be inspired. Yeah. That's what you do. Thank you so much Thank for being on the so show. Thank you so much. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Don't be any tunes, everybody.